The University of Southern California's Institute for Creative Technologies has created three-dimensional reconstructions of real-world environments using commercial, off-the-shelf, unmanned aerial systems. These reconstructions are visualized in ICT's Aerial Terrain Line of Sight Analysis System, or ATLAS. ATLAS allows users to visualize sight lines and plan tactical movements on and around the reconstructed environments. Commercial photogrammetry software, in combination with classification algorithms developed at ICT, were used to reconstruct the structures in three dimensions and prepare the models for visualization and analysis. This video provides a tutorial on how to use the various functionality available to Atlas users. First, let's go over some basic camera controls in Atlas. To pan the camera, simply left-click and drag the mouse anywhere to pan the camera across the reconstructed environment. To rotate the camera, right-click and drag the mouse anywhere to rotate the camera across the environment. At any time, the user can use the middle mouse or mouse wheel to zoom in or out to aid in placing units on the reconstructed environment. The most basic tool at the user's disposal is the Distance tool. Simply left-click to select the Distance tool button, then left-click anywhere in the reconstructed environment to begin plotting distance markers. The distance between all markers is indicated with a numeric value in meters. Atlas also provides the user with the ability to add units. Simply left click to select the add unit button and a drop down menu of unit options is presented to the user. To add an enemy unit, left click the red unit button and left click anywhere on the reconstructed environment where you would like to place the enemy unit. Once you have placed an enemy unit, Left-click on the enemy unit's icon to bring up a menu presenting various customizable options for the selected enemy unit. These options include changing the unit's line of sight range and height adjustment to simulate different enemy vantage points. The red color overlay that appears when an enemy unit is placed on the reconstructed environment indicates the enemy unit's line of sight. The enemy unit's line of sight will change depending upon where the user places and or moves the enemy unit. The enemy unit's line of sight range may also be changed using the line of sight range slider option in the enemy unit menu. To add a friendly unit, left click the blue unit button from the add unit menu and left click anywhere on the environment where you would like to place the friendly unit. Left click on a placed friendly unit's icon to select a friendly unit. This will bring up a menu presenting various customizable options for the selected friendly unit. These options include changing the unit's mobility type between dismounted, wheeled, and tracked, as well as height adjustment to simulate different friendly vantage points. With the selected friendly unit, the Add Waypoint tool becomes available to the user to plot a route plan for the friendly unit. Left-click the Add Waypoint button, then left-click anywhere in the reconstructed environment to begin plotting route plan waypoints for the selected friendly unit. The placed waypoints will take into consideration and plot around any environment objects in the way of the route plan path. When a user creates a waypoint route path for a blue friendly unit, the color of the route path indicates any areas where the friendly unit is exposed to enemy unit's line of sight. Green colored segments of the route path indicate areas where the friendly unit is concealed from the enemy unit's line of sight, while red colored segments of the route path indicate areas where the friendly unit is exposed to the enemy unit's line of sight. Route concealment and coloring will update to reflect the enemy unit's line of sight wherever enemy units are positioned on the reconstructed environment. To delete a friendly or enemy unit, simply left click the unit icon to select the unit. In the menu that appears for the selected unit, left-click the Delete Unit button to remove the unit from the reconstructed environment. There are multiple terrain shading overlays available to the user. The terrain shading overlays each provide the user with unique visual information regarding the reconstructed environment. Some of the terrain shading overlays available to the user include slope from green to red, with green indicating areas with low slopes, and red indicating areas with high slopes. Another terrain shading overlay available to the user includes slope pan chromatic, affording visual information spanning a large part of the visible spectrum of light. 
The default terrain shading overlay is selected by left-clicking the terrain button from the shading drop-down menu. Atlas is compatible with the HTC Vive headset and controllers. Ensure the HTC Vive headset is plugged into your Windows 10 machine and left-click the Enable VR Mode checkbox on the main menu to enable Atlas VR Mode. 